Hi everyone, PJ Professional Gareth Trainer here. We've come down to our 18th hole because we know there's nothing more daunting than a shot over the back in front of a full balcony on a Saturday. Okay, so I'm going to try and explain how we're going to get over those little nerves to stop us from hitting it into the back or thinning it through the back into the long grass and making a big score and potentially ruining a round of golf. Okay, so I've got three balls here and we're going to play three different types of shots. Okay, all which are very easy and achievable for all standards of golfers okay so the first one I'm going to do is the more traditional one where we're going to put the ball in the middle of our stance and we're going to take more of a rotation of the body and take all the hands so that we're not flicking it or driving down into the turf we're just going to rotate the body pick the ball off the top of the ground and get it to fly over the back at sort of a medium trajectory height okay so we're going to do this by putting hands down the club the ball position is going to be in the middle of our feet and then from there, the main focus is we're going to turn the chest and get the chest pointing towards the target without flicking our hands, okay? So this is the first one. You see it went nicely up into the sky. It pitched halfway up the green. So that's going to show us that we need to pitch halfway because it's going to spend the next part of its journey on the floor running towards the flag, okay? The next one we're going to play is it's very similar, but we've just moved the ball position a little bit further forward. That's going to allow us to go more underneath the ball and it's going to pop up a little bit higher into the sky, okay? So, same again, hands low, turn the chest to get towards the target, but the ball position is much further forward. And then we swing underneath it. You'll see the ball stops an awful lot quicker because we've generated more spin and it's gone a little bit higher, okay? The last one we're going to play is a little bit more high risk but you could use a less lofted club, for example, like a pitching wedge. So this is going to spend more time on the floor, okay? So the only difference here is we're going to move the ball position to the back of the stance, okay? So same again, hands down, weight forward, ball position back. And it's going to spend the majority of its time on the floor and run out an awful lot further, okay? Give that a try next time you're down here. Go to the practice ground, vary your flights of shots, and see if you get any improvements. Thanks very much.